Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about Lucifer. We're going to ask three questions. First of all, one, why did God create Lucifer? Two, um, why didn't God cast Lucifer straight into hell the second he rebelled? Like as soon as he rebelled against heaven and against God, why didn't he cast him into hell as soon as he rebelled? And number three, can Satan actually be saved? So we're gonna we're gonna address these three questions. So stay tuned. This is my heart for you. Take it completely. This is my Hi everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Apologetics. Uh, just a video, a short video on Lucifer and three very commonly asked questions about him. First of all, why did God create Lucifer if he knew the end from the beginning? God is all-knowing, right? So if God knew what Lucifer was going to become, what he was going to do and what was going to happen, he still created him knowing what was going to happen, what he was going to become. So why did God create Lucifer? Okay, first, to answer the first question, God created Lucifer so the human race could make a choice. And I'll explain what I mean by that is because like Lucifer needed to exist so that the human race could have something to choose from. Because if Lucifer didn't exist and God was the only deity that existed, then we would have nothing to choose from. We would, we would worship God out of, out of necessity because like there's no one else to, to choose from. Right, so there needs to be another option, right? So that the, and because because God is love, He gives us the the free the free will and the choice. He gives us the choice to make, right? So He created Lucifer, knowing what He was going to become, knowing what He was going to do, so that His creation, the human race, could make a choice who they wanted to serve, who they wanted to follow. Now, unfortunately, Adam and Eve chose the devil. They chose to obey His lie instead of God's truth, instead of God's command. So that's why God created Lucifer, so that we could make a choice who we wanted to serve, we could choose, right? Now, question number two, why did God not throw Lucifer straight into hell the second he rebelled? Right, he could have chucked him into hell, straight. him and all of the angels that rebelled, he could have throw, uh, cast them all straight into hell as soon as they rebelled, but he didn't. Why? Why did, does he let them exist and, and run amok in, in the world? Right. Okay. Well, to answer that question is because if, if you think about it, right, there's actually two reasons. One, he didn't throw him into hell straight away because because of the the answer to the first question as well, because he needed to give the human race enough time to either choose God or choose uh, to to follow Lucifer, right, to follow Satan. So then, human race needed to make a choice, right? That's reason number one. But reason number two, and this is the most important reason, actually. The re reason number two as to why God didn't throw Lucifer into hell a second, the second he rebelled is because if, if God had have done that, right, all of the remaining angels who witnessed that in horror would be so horrified, so terrified of God that they would have begun to serve God out of fear, out of terrifying fear. Because imagine that, right? God cast Lucifer and the fallen angels straight into hell like lightning the second they rebel. The rest of the angels will be like, watching in horror and then god seals the doors of hell and then everybody all of the angels would think oh no we, we better behave ourselves you know and they'll be serving god for the rest of their existence they would be serving god out of fear now imagine imagine existing for all eternity being afraid of your creator god did not want his creation to be afraid of him he didn't want the angels or the or or us human beings to be afraid of him to be terrified of him and he knew, God knew that the angels would be terrified of him if he had have done that. Right? Can you imagine the angels like, where, when, if God had have cast Lucifer into hell with all of the rebellious angels straight away, then all of the remaining angels would have been, oh, yeah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, whatever you say, whatever you say, Lord, whatever you say. You know, so um, when God gives them a command, then they would be so terrified, oh, no, I have to obey, or this is going to happen to me too. So they would be so terrified. That's why God couldn't throw Lucifer and the fallen angels into hell straight away as soon as they rebelled because God did not want his creation to be terrified of him, to be scared of him. So God is letting Satan and his, the fallen angels do their thing te on a temporary basis, just temporarily, to give his creation enough time to decide who they want to follow. And if you look at the world today, you can already clearly see that um, 
the devil has made a real big mess out of things and he's very very evil now question number three can satan be saved the answer to that is a simple no absolutely not he cannot be saved satan is beyond redemption he is evil personified he is sin personified and god hates sin he hates all evil satan has made his choice and even if you look at it this way, even if Satan wanted, sorry, even if Satan could be saved, he doesn't want to be saved. He doesn't want to. He's full, full blown rebellion against God. He does not want anything to do with God. Absolutely hates him with his evil, wicked heart. So even if Satan could be saved, he doesn't want to be. He doesn't want to be saved. He's proud of what he's done. He's proud of who he is, who and what he is. So no, he can't be saved. So there you go, guys. That's the reason why God created Lucifer. And that's the reason why God did not throw Lucifer and the fallen angels into hell straight away the second they rebelled. And also, this is um, the answer to the question, can Satan be saved? And that's absolutely not. He, he cannot be saved at all. So anyway, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. And I'll leave you guys with that. And until next time, have a great day and God bless you. Take it.